Opinions are like holes. Everyone has one. And when it comes to IT certifications, every guru out there is going to have a different list for you, a different set of recommendations. So Andrew, if everybody has their own opinion, why should we listen to you? That is a great question. I've taken a look at a ton of different articles, videos, and blog posts, and they all have something different to say. They put these certifications in different orders, and even the certifications themselves are different. So what I've done is I've combined a bunch of different sources down into one set of recommendations. So what you're saying is your list is actually scientifically factual. Well, that might be going a little too far. But what we've done is we've taken a subjective question, what is the best IT certification out there? And we put a little more objective data behind it. All right, so now we just have one trustworthy list. Well, actually three lists, because I'm gonna go over what is the best overall IT certification, the best paying IT certifications, and also the best entry level certifications. Let's kick this off getting into the best overall IT certifications. We have four that are tied for fifth place. The AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect, ISACA's Certified Information System Auditor, PMI's Project Management Professional. Now for a three-way tie for second place. AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, CompTIA's A plus certified certification, ISACA's Certified Information Security Manager. And maybe not a surprise to many of us that the number one recommended certification out there that's recommended on the most number of sources is the ISCs2 Certified Information System Security Professional, or also known as the CISP. Well, CISSP, that's not a big surprise. Yes, it really has been one of the pinnacle IT certs for a long time now. It's really highly regarded in the IT industry, and it's one of the hardest certs to get. It really is a specialty if you plan on going into a certain area of IT. So what do you think of this list? Anything you would add? Anything that you disagree with and you would take away from the list? Even more importantly, what certs do you have? And what certs are you going after? I would love to hear from you. So put your answers to those questions in the comments below. So how come all those lists are so different? Usually the creators of these lists are taking into account how much pay you get if you get the certification, how marketable it makes you, and how well regarded it is within the industry. And each one of those creators is coming from a different background with different experiences and may put different value on the pay and marketability and the skills that each one of those certs gives you. Let's face it, most of us are at least a little bit curious about what IT certifications pay the most. We're going to take a look at which IT certifications are associated with the highest paying salaries. Coming in at number 10 is our CISSP at 150,000 a year. Wait, CISSP is number 10 on the list. I thought it was number one. That's right, our best overall IT certification, the CISSP, is not the highest paying certification. Number nine on our list is Google Cloud Associate Cloud Engineer, coming in at 153,000 per year. It's amazing how hot these Google Cloud certifications are, despite Google Cloud being late to the cloud game. I'm still a little shocked that we have Google Cloud in the number one position. Oh, did you just give something away? Maybe or maybe not, but I can tell you, I give a ton of great information and resources away in my newsletter. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I'll have the link down below in the description. Number eight on our list is ISACA's Certified Information System Auditor, coming in at 155,000. In fact, ISACA takes up our next few spots, number seven, six, and five. The Certified Data Privacy Solutions Engineer, coming in at 162,000. The Certified Information Security Manager coming in at 164,000 and the Certified in Risk and Information System Control coming in at 167,000. What I'm gathering from all this is you really can't go wrong when it comes to these ISACA certifications. Number four on our list is ISCs2 Cloud Security Professional coming in at 171,000. It clips slightly by number three on our list, which is Nutanix Certified Professional multi-cloud 
infrastructure coming in at 175,000. By the way, I do post a lot of videos just like this around certification, around cybersecurity, and around advancing your IT career. So if this video is fascinating to you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you get notified when I come out with new content. Number two on our list is the AWS Certified Security Specialist coming in at 177,000. Me personally, I'm a big fan of AWS and AWS certifications. It's very prevalent out there and they have some of the best customer service from my experience. So I highly recommend these AWS certs. Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect coming in at 179,000. Although one of the sources said that this certification is up to 209,000 as an average. That means that some people are getting paid significantly more than $209,000 who have this certification. Do you want a reference sheet that covers all the top paying IT certs and the salaries that they're associated with them? Well, I have a document that you can download that covers all the top paying IT certs, all the best entry level certs, and all the top overall certs, and you can download it from my site. The link is down below in the description. Any one of these high paying IT certifications would be amazing. However, it's usually a little bit further along in your career before you can ever attain a certification like that. So how do we get started? Let's take a look at the best entry level certifications. It's a four way tie for sixth place. First up is the Linux Professionals Institute's Linux Essentials. Next is the Microsoft Technology Associate. We also have PMI's Certified Associates in Project Management, or CAPM. Then we have CompTIA's Tech Plus Certification. In my opinion, you're gonna have to show that you have at least some basic knowledge around computers. Now, A Plus is gonna be more recognizable and perhaps a little bit easier to get a job. However, it is a bigger investment. One idea that you could do is go after a Tech Plus certification and then use the extra time that you have to go over a more advanced certification like Network Plus or even better yet, CCNA. And speaking of the Tech Plus, I just designed some courses around the Tech Plus certification and you can access them for free. And it's great information. In fact, I love the way they turned out. And it's even for more advanced users or those who are studying for the A plus certification as well. So click the link down below in the description to gain access to those free courses. Next up, we have two certs that are tied for fourth place. We have the Microsoft Certified Fundamentals and also the CompTIA Network Plus. This would be a great combination because I do feel like people need to prove themselves in both the operating system and hardware side of things but also the networking side of things. There's also a two-way tie for second place. First up is CompTIA's A plus certification. For a long time, this has been an entry level certification that really has been recognized across the industry. It's a great way to get your foot in the door. Also in second place is CompTIA Security Plus. No matter what you're doing in this industry, you're gonna to need to know some about security. Security Plus is a great certification to gain some of that basic understanding. You will need to understand computers and some about networking before you really can take on on the Security Plus certification. And the number one entry level certification that showed up on all of the sources except for one is the Cisco Certified Network Associates, the CCNA. CCNA is listed as the number one entry level certification? Is that even for beginners? Well, that's what all the sources say. And I tend to agree with that. But the fact is that I know a lot of people that will study the CCNA as one of their entry level certifications. Now, I'm not sure if it would be exactly the first certification that you should get. One thing I love about the CCNA is it's applicable both just as a entry level certification to get your foot in the door, but also is applicable throughout your career and well into your career. I know with my online CCNA course that's available to you, I start out with a firm foundation with what networking is. Then we build off of that by learning about the Cisco equipment and how we utilize it to set up large infrastructure 
infrastructures. In the end, it really sets you up for successfully passing the CCNA certification exam. Now, certifications aren't everything, and you may want to consider the pros and cons to getting certifications. So I have two videos for you. One of the videos is why you should get a certification where I go over the pros of what certifications do for you. I have another one that says why you shouldn't get certifications because there are some disadvantages that certifications bring. So you can scope those out. And don't forget about all the free resources that I have links to down below in the description. Things like free courses, my newsletter, the PDF download, and I also have my social media links down below too. And if you like my studio, I have a video for that as well. I'll put the link down below in the description for that. And one last thing, I really just wanted to thank you. Thank you for watching my video and being a part of it.